Welcome back to Outlaw Championship Wrestling. Uh, it is March 8th, 2000. Oh, it's not 2023. It's 1980. Uh, so I have to correct that here. And uh, we've got a big night of action. Uh, Butch Reed is going to take on Dory Funk Jr. Uh, for uh, the uh, North American Heavyweight Championship. Um, Terry Funk is protesting this, uh, saying that he beat uh, Butch Reed, and so Butch Reed shouldn't get a shot. But um, the commissioner, me, has said that Butch Reed will get a shot, but Terry Funk is going to be at ringside, so shenanigans may happen. We also have another big grudge match, uh, Colonel De Beers and Ron Simmons. Uh, the last time these two met and uh, went against each other, uh, it ended in a DQ, so they will be going. Uh, we have Blackjack Lonza versus Wahoo McDaniel, Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia taking on this... Wait, okay, this is not correct here. Uh... <laughs> I'm just looking at this match. This is not correct. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, remove that match and reuse the match. Um, so let's see. This is Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia uh, versus Killer Khan and Kamala. That's it. No great kabuki anywhere. Uh, all right. So we're going to add that match. We'll move that back up uh, there. Uh, Jerry Lawler versus Jay Youngblood, and we're going to start things off with Ronnie Garvin versus Coco Samoa. So let's uh, head on over to. Oh, you know what I want to? I want to do. I want to make sure because uh, I did not do this last time. I want to make sure that uh, yeah, audio capture. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you can hear the bells and the dice ringing and all uh, the dice ringing, the bells ringing, the dice rolling, all that kind of good stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I have the dryer going. It's Thanksgiving. Hello, happy Thanksgiving. You're going to be watching this after Thanksgiving, uh, but it is Thanksgiving. And uh, here we go. Here's our opening match. This is going to be uh, Ronnie Garvin versus Coco Samoa. Uh, so let us roll the dice and ring the bell. And Ronnie Garvin's going to start things off here with a face mangler on Coco Samoa. Hurt too. Ooh, some brutal chops. Hurt too. Headbutt. Uh, hurt too. You, sometimes you don't want to headbutt Coco Samoa. Uh, into the ropes. Uh, let's see. He has an A, so he's going to roll up instead. There's a bite to the forehead. Coco Samoa reverses it. Big Samoan drop. Hurt too. Uh, choice B. So let's see. His agility is a plus one. His turnbuckle is a C. He's going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Uh, and it's a reversal. So Coco Samoa goes into the turnbuckle. Um, and let me just jot a note down here. This is turnbuckle B10. Turnbuckle B10. There's some spacing issues there. Um, both wrestlers go down the wrestler with a better turnbuckle rating. That's going to be Coco Samoa. It's going to roll. Level three offense. Oh my gosh, there it is. The super fly leap. Uh, so we hit this roll one die on a roll of one. Coco misses and the opponent takes over. So let's see if he hits this uh, rolling. Uh, there it is. Roll one die. Uh, I always forget where these are. Roll one die. Uh, oh, and it's a one. So he misses. And uh, Ronnie Garvin's going to take over on level two with an arm twister. Dazed one. Uh, high backdrop, a power move. He has the power, so that will work. Hurt two. And there is a Boston Crab on Coco Samoa. Hurt two. Keeps that Boston Crab locked in. And we're going to roll here to see if Coco Samoa submits. He does not. He gets one fatigue. Uh, Garvin stomp. Three. Add one. Coco Samoa in trouble. He is down. There is a big pile driver. Hurt two. Uh, arm twister. And that is a dazed one. Bite to forehead, two. Coco Samoa reverses it on level one. Mule kick, he has the agility, so that will work. Hurt, two. Uh, high back body drop, two. Hurt, two. Double back chop, three. Down three. Here comes Coco Samoa. He's going to try the super fly leap again. Three hits this time, so this is a plus one. The target will be four. The roll is a six. There's one fatigue for Ronnie Garvin. There is a body suplex. Is that... Yep, body suplex. That's what it's called. Hurt two. Uh, keep going. There's a headbutt. Uh, ooh, and that catches Ronnie Garvin. So the target's four. 
The roll is a nine. He is now up to two fatigue. Springboard clothesline three. Ooh, he gets it. It was going to get him. Target five. Roll eight. There's another fatigue. And another springboard clothesline. Hurts two. Coco Samoa coming back. Double back chop. Hurts two. Into the ropes. Tosses Ronnie Garvin into the ropes. This is a power uh, rating. That's going to be rugged Ronnie Garvin. And he will roll on level two. Into the turnbuckle. Whips Coco Samoa in. But Coco Samoa lifts a knee. Uh, choice B. He is going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Bounce forward. And he catches the opponent with a skull-splitting lariat. Coco Samoa uh, is hurt. There is the Boston Crab. He locks it in. Uh, Coco Samoa is not going to leave the ring. Uh, there it is. Hands of Stone plus one. The target is going to be seven. The roll is an eight. Uh, so another fatigue token. There's a forearm slug two. Hurt two. Uh, headbutt two. Hurt two. Headbutt two. Hurt two. Boston Crab locks it in again. Down three. Coco Samoa will leave the ring this time. Uh, but he crawls helplessly back in, and Ronnie Garvin just tosses him out of the ring again. Uh, the wrestler with the better ring rating, uh, that is going to be Ronnie Garvin. He's going to roll on level three offense, and he's going to toss uh, Coco Samoa out of the ring again. Uh, and uh, he does a big move outside of the ring. Let's see what... Uh, Ronnie Garvin does. I have um, Dave Little's cards here. It is a body slam on the arena floor. That's what he does. Uh, so now Coco Samoa going to roll his count out, which is a seven. Finisher rating is a two. That is going to end the match. Uh, yes, update time. Uh, count out. After... A body slam on the arena floor. Uh, and let's see. We got a four and a three. So that is three and a half stars. Uh, and uh, Ronnie Garvin wins, beats Coco Samoa via count out. Um, that is... Uh, I wish you could roll on the feud table here, uh, but I don't think you can. Um, but there is, let me see if I can grab my feud table chart. One second. Okay. I clicked out of that other screen because I don't want the, um, the timer to keep going. I guess I could have paused the timer. So we're gonna roll on the feud table here. Uh, and the roll is a seven. You continue to attack. Uh, you continue to attack on the opponent after the bell. An ally of the opponent storms the ring to stop you, but it's too late. The damage is done, and this feud is more intense than ever. Opponent injured for one fight card. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Coco Samoa. Uh, is injured for one fight card um, after an attack, uh, after an post-match beatdown by Ronnie Garvin. Uh, and let's see, who would come out and help Coco Samoa? Uh, Coco Samoa is being a face here. Um, I'm going to add this in later, but let's see. Uh, used, who would come out and help Coco Samoa? Maybe Junkyard Dog, because he's later on the, on the, so. Uh, okay, we'll say Junkyard Dog. All right, here's our next match. It's going to be Jerry Lawler, the King, versus Jay Youngblood. We will roll the dice, and Jerry Lawler going to start things off here with a hip toss, uh, but it's an agility move, so Jay Youngblood takes it over. Um, he is not going to uh, be able to use the tag move, so he's going to roll up. Uh, sleeper choice C. And going to go for the agility move. This will work on a seven or less. Seven gets it. Jerry Lawler hurts two. Here's a choice A. 
And let me see here. Choice A. Yep, choice A, choice C. Uh, what is his ropes? His ropes is a B. Going to throw him into the ropes. You come through the ropes with flying shoulder tackle. Roll on level two offense. Uh, tosses Jay Youngblood into the ropes. Uh, but Jay Youngblood hits him with a pile driver. Hits the king with his own move. Uh, roll on level three offense. Uh, there's a double arm suplex on Jerry Lawler. Hurt two. Choice A again. Going to throw him into the ropes again. Uh, the wrestler with the better ropes rating. Uh, they are equal, so that will be Jay Youngblood rolling on level three offense. Death jump. He's climbing up to the top. Blast you with a flying clothesline, and opponent rolls on level three offense. There's a double arm suplex on Jerry Lawler. He is down. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up. There's a flying drop kick. Down three. Uh, kneeling arm bar two. Jerry Lawler able to Get out of that, tosses Jay Youngblood into the ropes, uh, and he puts gets put down by a running back elbow uh, into the ropes again. Um, and uh, Jerry Lawler uses a specialty move, goes in for the kill. Choice C. Um, let's see, you wouldn't want to do agility, so you're going to have to do power. So this will work on an 8 or less. Uh, the roll is a 5. It does work, but it's level 2 move. Hurt 2. Uh, vertical suplex 3. Down 3. Jay Youngblood not leaving the ring, uh, but he will now because Jerry Lawler tosses him out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. There's a second rope fist drop. Target here is will be 3. Um, and uh, the roll is a 7, so 1 fatigue added there. Another second rope fist drop, so the target here will be 4. Roll is a 6. There's another fatigue. A uh, leg drop. And let's see, his power is a plus one. Gonna go for that. Needs a nine or less. Three, it works. Hurt, two. Uh, jumping stomp, two. Down, three. Uh, choice C. Uh, try moon. No, I'm not gonna do that. Gonna do power again, so this will work on an eight or less. It does, but it's a level two move. Hurt, two. Uh, into the turnbuckle, whips Jay Youngblood into the turnbuckle, but Jay Youngblood catches Lawler with a skull-splitting lariat, and he goes down hard. Opponent rolls on level three defense. He is down. Can Jay Youngblood capitalize? Not gonna throw him out of the ring. Rolls a choice A. Uh, gonna throw him into the ropes. Drops down. Let's roll again. The opponent uses one of his specialty moves and goes in for the kill. Jay Youngblood with a death jump, climbing up to the top, blasts him with a big flying clothesline. And there is the falling double chop. The uh, target here is going to be three. The roll is a nine. There is one fatigue. Uh, there is another falling double chop. So the target here is going to be four. The roll is a seven. And war dance and jumping chop down three. Uh, the king absolutely is going to leave the ring, but he crawls helplessly back in. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. There's a big flying drop kick on Jerry Lawler. Oops. That just says pih. All right, let me make a note of this. Jerry Lawler, uh, level three D six pin, but that is his pin. So the target here is going to be four. Uh, the roll is a six. There's another fatigue token. The fans going crazy as Jay Youngblood is on the warpath here. Thank you very much. Uh, tries a scoop slam, but Lawler able to reverse it with a jumping stomp. But no, Jay Youngblood coming back. Choice C, uh, gonna go for the agility move. This will work on a seven or less. Eight, does not. Jerry Lawler with a big knee drop, stopping the momentum of Jay Youngblood. Uh, there is a head scissors. Jay Youngblood reverses it, uh, tries a monkey flip, and it will work. Um, and that is a hurt two. There is a hammer lock two. Jerry Lawler, rever oops, oops, oops. Just roll one there. Uh, hip toss two, but Jay Youngblood able to reverse that. Oops. I clicked defense, not offense. There's a flying drop kick. Hurt two. Uh, can't use that move, so we got to roll up into the turnbuckle. Goes Jerry Lawler. Bounce forward in an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Not going to throw him out of the ring. There's some big tomahawk chops, and that's going to be Jerry Lawler's pin again. The target is five. Uh, the roll is a nine. So there is another uh, fatigue token, and there is a kneeling arm bar. Hurt two. Tomahawk chops three. There's the pin again. Target is six. Roll is a 12. Big kick out by Lawler. 
And uh, there's the kneeling armbar again. Jerry Lawler reverses it with a knee drop on Jay Youngblood. Hurt two. Uh, jumping stomp two. Hurt two. Vertical suplex three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Tosses Jay Youngblood into the ropes. Comes off. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Jerry Lawler rolls on level two offense. Head scissors two. Jay Youngblood reverses it. Arm drag two. What a match this is. Hurt two. Uh, there's some tomahawk chops on Jerry Lawler. Hurt two. Scoop slam, but it's a power move. So Lawler will reverse it with a vertical suplex. Hurt two. Jumping stomp two. Jay Youngblood reverses it. Uh, choice C. Uh, gonna go for the agility. It'll work on an eight or less. Five, it does. Lawler in trouble. Hurt two. There's some tomahawk chops. Down three. Uh, kneeling armbar two. Jerry Lawler reverses it on level two. Head scissors two. Jay Youngblood reverses it. Monkey flip two. And Jerry Lawler reverses it. Uh, back suplex three. That will work. Down three. Can Lawler follow up here? Tosses Jay Youngblood out of the ring. Uh, ooh, and we might have another count out here. Jay Youngblood's got to roll his count out. Target is five. Roll is seven. Uh, he crawls back in, and Lawler throws him out of the ring again. And he crawls helplessly back in. There's the second rope fist drop. The target here will be six, and the roll is a six. And that will end the match, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, yes, we will update the time. Uh, Jerry Lawler with the second rope fist drop. Uh, and let's see, that was a nine. So that will be uh, four and a half stars. Um, uh, so great match there uh, between those two. All right, we are moving along. We are ready for our next match. And I like having the, the used ones up here. Uh, and this is going to be Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia versus Kamala and Killer Khan. And we are going to start with Mr. Olympia versus Killer Khan. Um, so here we go. Rolling the dice. Ringing the bell. And Mr. Olympia going to start things off. Uh, back body drop, but it's a power move. So Killer Khan will reverse that. Fish hook two. Mr. Olympia reverses that, whips uh, Killer Khan into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Body Slam tries it, but can't do it. Uh, Killer Khan, Oriental Spike, three, add one. Oh, Mr. Olympia in trouble. So we're going to roll. Uh, oh, I could. I, did, I didn't put um, da, 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 match counters. Add uh, both corners independent. Pin saves. Okay, so they're going to use their first pin save over here. Get rid of that. Uh, roll pin save. Uh, fail. Roll your pin. I got to put in the... I thought I did put in the pin save matches, but... Uh, anyway, okay, so fail. Roll your pin. He's got to roll his pin. So the target here is going to be five, and the roll is a seven. So there is one fatigue. Uh, Killer Khan going to tag in Kamala, who comes in on level three, throws Mr. Olympia outside of the ring, and he crawls helplessly back in, throws him out of the ring again. He crawls helplessly back in. Uh, choice G locks him in the bear hug and uh, going to go for the power move. This will work on a nine or less. It does just hurt two. Uh, scoop slam two. Hurt two. Mr. Olympia Going to try and make the tag. Needs a six or less. He is able to do it. Here comes the Junkyard Dog on level one against uh, Kamala with a forearm to the head. Kamala reverses it. Savat kick, uh, but Junkyard Dog able to reverse it. Um, not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up instead. There's a headbutt, but no, Kamala. Uh, running body smash, um, but it is an agility move, so Junkyard Dog takes over. Big atomic drop, down three. Junkyard Dog with a falling headbutt, choice H. Uh, let's see, gonna go on to the death jump chart. Big clothesline from the top. Junkyard Dog hits the big thump. Uh, so they are gonna use one of their pin saves over here. 
and let's see what happens. Fail. Roll your pin. So plus two. Target here will be five. Roll is an eight. Junkyard dog still in control. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Uh, ooh. Not going to throw him into the ropes. Uh, dance and bark. Kamala reverses it. Pat Belly and Stomp. These two. Dazed one. Kamala going to tag in Killer Khan. Killer Khan comes uh, with a reverse thrust kick. Uh, that will work because they have equal agility, but Junkyard Dog reverses it. Hip Toss 2. He has the power. That will work. Killer Khan, though, reverses that. Choice A uh, is going to throw Junkyard Dog into the ropes, and uh, the opponent puts it down with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Oriental Spike 3. Add 1. Hurts 2. Uh, Mongolian Chop 2. Junkyard Dog reverses it. Big Atomic Drop. Hurts 2. Uh, into the turnbuckle, tosses Killer Khan into the turnbuckle, and uh, is this into the turnbuckle? B, yeah, this is the same one. Uh, the wrestler with the better turnbuckle rating, that's going to be Junkyard Dog, rolls on level three offense, jumping headcracker, two, Killer Khan reverses it, Mongolian chop, two, dazed, one, claws to eyes, one, Junkyard Dog reverses it on level two, multiple jabs, hurts, two, hip toss, two, uh, power move, uh, Junkyard Dog has the power, so that will work. Hurt 2, into the turnbuckle. Killer Khan, crushed by big kick, opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Crawling headbutts, Hurt 2, uh, into the turnbuckle again. Crushed by big kick, opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Multiple jabs, 2. Killer Khan reversing it, there is a fish hook. Junkyard Dog reverses it, into the ropes. Tosses him into the ropes, and he puts him down with a running back elbow. Uh, into the ropes again. Uh, another running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Hip toss two. That will work. Uh, Killer Khan going to try and make the tag. Needs a six or less. No, can't do it. And Junkyard Dog with some more crawling headbutts. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Tosses Killer Khan into the ropes. Drop down. Rolling in on this chart. Uh, power rating. This is going to be the Junkyard Dog. He's going to roll on level three. There's some crawling headbutts. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, Killer Khan again into the ropes. Uh, big specialty move. Junkyard Dog going to roll on level three. There is a football tackle. Hurt two. And hip toss two. Really battling back and forth here. Uh, atomic drop three. And that's going to be his pin. Target will be three. Roll is an eight. So one fatigue over here for Killer Khan. And jumping headcracker two. Hurt two. Junkyard Dog's going to tag in Mr. Olympia um, because he's just not making headway here. Uh, choice F uh, works on roll a seven. Uh, da, 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 da. Power rating is a minus two. So that would work on a five or less. Going to go for the agility. So this will work on an eight or less. Nine does not work. Mongolian chop two. Hurt two, Oriental Spike three, add one, yikes. Hurt two, Mongolian Chop two, hurt two. Killer Khan gonna tag in Kamala, who will roll on level two into the turnbuckle, uh, tosses him into the turnbuckle, but uh, Mr. Olympia dodges out of the way and Killer uh, Kamala goes flying over the top rope and out of the ring. Both wrestlers roll disqualification. Uh, so let's see. His DQ is a four, not disqualified. His DQ is a six, not disqualified. Uh, so we will roll one die to see who wins. It's an even roll. So that will be Kamala. They're brawling outside the ring. Bring it back in. There's a chest claw. Hurt two. Knife edge chop two. Hurts two. Scoop slam two. Mr. Olympia reverses it on level one. Hip toss. Kamala reverses it. Eye gouge. Uh, dazed one. Mr. Olympia going to try and tag out. Not able to do it. Uh, and there is another eye gouge. Again, he's going to try and tag out. Not able to do it. Uh, there is a headbutt. Power move. It will work. Hurt two. Kamala with the scoop slam. Hurt two. Again, going to try and make the tag. Not able to do it. And there's the Uganda nerve pinch. Hurt two. Choice A. Let's see. Uh, into the ropes. Or his power is a plus one. He's going to go... Um, yeah, so this will work on a nine or less. Seven, it does. But Mr. Olympia reverses it there into the turnbuckle. Uh, 
launches Kamala into the turnbuckle. Opponent rolls on level two offense. He is going to tag out to the junkyard dog, uh, who will roll on level two offense into the turnbuckle. Kamala whipped into the tongue buckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense into the ropes, tosses him into the ropes. Uh, this is power rating, and they have equal power rating. So junkyard dog will win. Hip toss two, hurt two. Into the ropes again. Come with the ropes. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Uh, hip toss two. And that is a hurt two into the turnbuckle. Kamala goes into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense into the ropes. Uh, drops down. Roll again on this chart. Drops down. Roll again on this chart. Uh, running back elbow. Junkyard dog into the ropes. Uh, into the ropes. C. <laughs> Uh, ba, ba, ba. No, that's a choice is what that is. Um, he is going to roll up. He's not having any luck. There you go. Uh, choice D. Uh, so let's see. Uh, well, this isn't going to work either because he'll need a six or less. Going to play it safe. Uh, going to go for the agility. Uh, this will work on an 11 or less. It does. Uh, but no, it doesn't. Kamala reverses it. Hits a choice A himself. Tosses Junkyard Dog into the ropes. Uh, power rating, they're equal. So Kamala will win that and roll on level two offense. There's the Uganda Nerve Pinch. Hurt two. Uh, keeps it locked in there. Hurts two. Scoop Slam two. Junkyard Dog reverses it. Uh, snap Mare, that will work. Uh, two. Hurts two. Into the ropes. Tosses him into the ropes. Drops down. We roll again. Comes through with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. And there is a scoop slam two on Junkyard Dog. Dazed one. Uh, headbutt two. They have equal power, so that will work. Junkyard Dog reverses it. Falling punch two. What a match this is coming out to be. Hurt two. Uh, into the ropes. Um... I just noticed that the match timer is not running. It should be running. I don't know when I stopped it. Uh, into the ropes. C. Tosses Kamala into the ropes. Come to the ropes. Her opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Uh, multiple jabs. Two. Kamala reverses it on level two. Scoop slam two. I was just looking at the time to see if this is getting close to a time limit, which because of this timer and because of the move count, I could kind of uh, add in there. But... Uh, this was not going for some reason. Uh, I must have clicked pause maybe when I backed up. I don't know. Headbutt two. Uh, junkyard dog uh, reverses it on level two. There's a multiple jabs two. Kamala reverses it on level one. Uh, an agility move. Junkyard dog has the agility into the ropes. Uh, tosses him into the ropes. The wrestler with the better ropes rating. That's going to be Kamala. Recovers. Rolls on level three. There's a chest claw on the dog. Down three. He is going to roll out of the ring. Both wrestlers roll disqualification. Uh, Junkyard dog is disqualified. Uh, Kamala is not. So that is going to end the match um, via DQ due to brawling. Uh, Kamala beat the Junkyard dog. DQ... Due to brawling outside the ring. Uh, JYD hit Kamala with his chain. Uh, let's see. We've got two, three, five, six, seven. So uh, seven divided by four is one and a half. We'll give it two stars. We will give it two stars. The time uh, was more than that, but oh well. It was much more than that. Oh, well, no big deal. All right, here we go. Our next match will be Blackjack Lonza versus Wahoo McDaniel. And uh, Blackjack Lonza seems to really have it out for Wahoo McDaniel. Let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. Blackjack Lonza is going to start things off. Can't use the double team attack, so we'll roll, re roll again. Wild forearms. Wahoo McDaniel reverses. Single leg takedown one. Dazed one. Uh, Snapmare with a chin lock. Oh, I got to fix this. Let's see. Wahoo McDaniel. Uh, level one. Oops. Level one, five. Uh, level one, offense, five. Uh, PW. I put OW. Um, so that is a power move. He does have the power, so that will work. Hurt two. 
Knee drop two, hurts two, into the turnbuckle. Um, into the turnbuckle. Yes, you will throw him in. It's a reversal. Uh, Wahoo McDaniel goes in, um, but uh, he moves out of the way. Blackjack Lonza crashes into the turnbuckle, and Wahoo McDaniel covers him. The target three. The roll is a seven, and not going to throw him out of the ring. There's some overhand chops. Hurt two. Uh, chop to the head two. Hurt two into the turnbuckle. Um, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Knee drop two. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle C. Uh, again, going to throw him in, but he lifts a knee, and he's going to roll on level two. There's some body punches. Wahoo McDaniel reverses it. Chop to the head two. Blackjack Lonza reverses it. Head ram into turnbuckle. Down three. Wahoo McDaniel not going to leave the ring. There's a Texas Brain Buster. Target here will be four. Roll is a five. Wahoo McDaniel just barely able to kick out, and Blackjack Lonza tosses him out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. Uh, there is a vertical suplex. Hurt two uh, into the turnbuckle. Uh, he's going to roll up instead. Wild forearms. Dazed one. Uh, face smother two. Uh, but Wahoo McDaniel has the power. So he hits back with a chop to the head and then a chop to the chest. Down three. Blackjack Lonza going to roll out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. Falling chop. So the target here will be four and the roll is is a four with the falling chop. Wahoo McDaniel is able to beat Black Jack Lonza uh, with the falling chop. Falling chop, there it is. Falling chop, and let's see, that'll be one and a half stars. And yeah, there's there's pretty much that. All right. Our next match is a grudge match. Colonel De Beers versus Ron Simmons. Um, uh, so this uh, the last time these two met, it ended in a DQ. So uh, here we go, rolling the dice, ringing the bell, and Colonel De Beers is going to start things off here. Uh, jumping knee to the midsection, but Ron Simmons has the agility. Uh, going to toss him into the turnbuckle. Uh, opponent rolls on level three offense. There it is, the spike. Target three, roll a nine. Um, and there's the spike again. Target four, roll eight. Ron Simmons not wasting any time here. Falling headbutt two. Hurt two. Big time clothesline three. Hurt two. All American beatdown two. Hurt two. Uh, drop kick two. Hurt two. Uh, choice D. Um, what is his power? Is a negative one? He is going to go for it. Needs an eight or less. Ten. No. Colonel De Beers hits him with a back suplex. Hurt two. Colonel De Beers with an enziguri. Hurt two. Uh, into the turnbuckle. Whips Ron Simmons into the turnbuckle. And he gets a, a he met with a neck breaking clothesline. Slingshot, slingshot choke on the bottom ropes. Ron Simmons able to duck out of the way. Hits a big right cross. Uh, that is a hurt two. Drop kick two. Hurt two. Jumping face slam choice D. Uh, this is where he lost it, but he's going to go again. Needs an eight or less. Three. He hits it this time. Down three. Falling headbutt two. Hurt two. Drop kick two, hurt two, into the ropes. Uh, throws him into the ropes. The opponent gets a position for a back body drop, uh, but De Beers hits Simmons with a pile driver. It's going to roll on level three offense. Slingshot choke. No, Ron Simmons has some sort of block for this. Uh, back body drop. Uh, that will work. Hurt two. Uh, into the turnbuckle, whips him into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. There's a big time clothesline. Hurt two. Drop kick two. Colonel De Beers reverses it. Drop toe hold. Ron Simmons reverses that with a kick to the midsection. Colonel De Beers reverses that by whipping Ron Simmons into the turnbuckle. He lifts a knee, rolls on level two, tosses him into the turnbuckle. It's a reversal. Crushed by big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. There's an Enziguri. Hurt two. Another Enziguri. Hurt two. And uh, choice C. 
Uh, let's see. Gonna go for the agility move. This will work on a seven or less. Seven just gets it. Down three. Can Colonel De Beers capitalize on this? There's a standing bulldog. Hurt two. Jumping stomp two. Down three. Uh, standing bulldog three. Hurt two. Um, body slam two. Uh, but he has the power, so he reverses it. Whips to Beers into the ropes. Big specialty move. Going to go for uh, level three. There is a scoop power slam. Target is going to be five. Roll is an 11. There is another fatigue. And uh, Ron Simmons, uh, what is his level two? He's not going to throw him out of the ring. He's going to roll up into the turnbuckle, tosses him into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Uh, there is a choice D. And again, going to go for the, the power move, but needs an eight or less. Ten doesn't happen. Colonel De Beers hits him with an Enziguri and hits his pin. Target three, roll five. First fatigue of the match for Ron Simmons. There's a face first pile driver. Target is six. Roll is a five. Wow. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. In the grudge match, uh, I'm going to put up here. Grudge match. Colonel De Beers beats Ron Simmons with the uh, face first pile driver. I see there is now a hyphen in there. Uh, they get one star because it was a grudge match. And they got a five. So that'll be three and a half stars. Um, so great come from behind victory by uh, Colonel De Beers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event of the evening. And uh, this is going to be for the North American Championship. And uh, accompanied by Terry Funk. So Terry Funk uh lurking in the corner and could get involved uh, involved here we shall see all right uh the fans super excited for this uh rolling the dice ringing the bell and dory funk jr the champ's gonna start there's an arm bar two on butch reed butch reed reverses it on level one kick to the gut one uh, Dory Funk Jr. reverses that. Overhead wrist lock, one. Butch Reed reverses that. Uh, elbow drop, two, but uh, uh, Dory Funk has the agility. Huge forearm uppercuts. Hurts, two. Arm ringer, two. Hurts, two. Into the ropes. He's going to roll up instead. There is a choice D. Uh, his power is a negative three, so that would be a six or less. Going to play it safe. Uh, needs a nine or less here. Seven. Makes it work, but Butch Reed reverses it. Choice F. And uh, choice F, what is his power? Is a zero. Going to go for that. Needs a seven or less. Nine. Doesn't do it. Dory Funk Jr. Uh, tosses him into the ropes. Uh, but Butch Reed grabs him. Hits a pile driver. He's going to roll on level three offense. There's a flying shoulder block. Three. Uh, hurts two. A uh, Gorilla Press Slam, three, hurts two, into the ropes, whips Dory Funk Jr. into the ropes, and he comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle, arm ringer, two, Butch Reed reverses it on level one with an arm drag, Dory Funk Jr. reverses it, shoulder tackle, two, um, and that move will work, because he's got the agility, hurt two, huge forearm uppercuts, hurt two, uh, drop kick, two, hurt two, Arm ringer, two. Butch Reed reverses it. Arm drag, dazed, one. And uh, overhead forearm, two. Hurt, two. Gorilla press slam, three. Ooh, rolling his pin. The champ rolling his pin. The target is two. The roll is a five. There's one fatigue. Terry Funk getting antsy outside the ring. Vertical suplex, two. Hurt, two. Big headbutt, two. Dazed, one. Uh, choice F. Uh, going to go for the power move. This will work on a seven or less. Roll is a seven. It does work. Hurts two. Into the ropes. Uh, tosses him into the ropes. Uh, but Tory Funk grabs him and hits him with a pile driver. And he rolls on level three offense. There's a spinning toe hold. Uh, uh, roll one die. One to four. Play normal. Five to six. Use Texas Cloverleaf. 
Uh, so here we go. Run down. It's a six. So it's Texas Cloverleaf. This is a plus two. So the target here is going to be five. And the roll is a seven. So Butch Reed able to, or he's not giving up yet at any rate. There's the spinning toe hold again. Uh, let's see. We're going to roll one die. It's a four. So just a spinning toe hold. Target here will be five. A finisher rating is a 10. And there is an elbow drop three, down three. Uh, Indian Deathlock, Choice H, uh, gonna go for the Death Jump. Dory Funk going up, blast him with a big clothesline from the top. Uh, again, uh, gonna go for the Death Jump again. Stumble to your feet, opponent comes off with a perfect cross body. Roll your pin, this could be it for Butch Reed. The target, five, the roll a 10. No, he is able to kick out. And there is a Boston Crab, Hurt 2, Knee Breaker 2, Hurt 2, into the ropes. Uh, he is going to roll up instead. Uh, there is a Choice D. Dang, can't use that. Um, he's got to play it safe. He's got to play it safe. He's got to roll uh, for the agility, which would be a 9 or less. No, doesn't even do that. Uh, big Headbutt 2, Hurt 2, Big Headbutt 2, Dazed 1. Overhead forearm two, hurts two. Second row fist drop three, hurts two. Second row fist drop three, hurts two. Uh, big headbutt two, hurts two. Gorilla press slam three, down three. Butch Reed with a vertical suplex just dazes Dory Funk Jr. Tries an elbow drop, but Dory Funk Jr. able to get out of the way. There is a knee breaker, and there is the abdominal stretch. He is down. Uh, and Dory Funk going to toss him out. Uh, ooh, no, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up and... Oops, oops, oops. Ignore that. Uh, he is going to roll up instead into the ropes. Ooh, not good either. Uh, opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. There's some huge forearm uppercuts. This could be it. Target is six. Roll is a five. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still champion... Dory Funk Jr. Uh, after some huge forearm uppercuts. Uh, oops. There we go with that. Uh, they'll get one star. Um, they should actually get two stars. Uh, I'll, I'll make it a four and a half star match. Um, just because it'll be, it's a feud match. Uh, it's also a title match. And uh, but uh, Dory Funk retains the title over Butch Reed. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As always, I like to head back out and check the rankings before we go. And uh, here we go. Uh, so Dory Funk up at the top. Uh, he is now completely undefeated. Six wins, zero losses. Uh, I noticed last time that I had uh, entered in a match results for a match twice. So that adjusted the rankings a little bit. It was a match between Dory Funk Jr. and Butch Reed. Somehow got added in there twice. I think when I was maybe adding the title in there, I forgot to delete the other one. Uh, so the rankings from last time were a little bit skewed. Uh, Terry Funk is... Uh, well, see, I like... I, the champ is always ranked first. And then... Uh, so Butch Reed is still number one. Terry Funk, Ronnie Garvin, Ernie Ladd, Kamala, Wahoo McDaniel, Colonel De Beers... And tag team Ernie Ladd and the Assassin are still up there. Um, there you go. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for being here uh, for this episode of Outlaw Championship Wrestling. A huge shout out to all the Golden Circle members. Uh, always appreciate their support. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.